right, day two of being a tourist here in Venice Beach, and I just can't seem to keep this motorcycle away from Starbucks. It just naturally wants to go there. Hey, listen! I know, I can park right in front of it. Well, you know, we were going to go to Starbucks, but sitting right here is a local coffee shop, so we should try that out instead. This is going to take a second to back up. Alright, you can hop on. Well, I'm sure I'm glad we stopped at a local coffee shop instead of getting Starbucks again. That was cool, and the coffee was great. And you guys know I always like to support small business, so I dig doing that. And now, we're going to pay $9 to stick our toe <laughs> in the Atlantic Ocean. We lost again. Let it go and accept the truth that we is dumb. Dumb as hell. Okay, and now we're going to pay $9 to be able to say that we put our foot in the Pacific Ocean. Well, that was cool. Made it to the end of the world. <laughs> Not really, but you know, as far as the continental states are concerned, when you live in Florida, <laughs> the, the California, seeing the ocean off the coast of California is the end of the world. Oh, he's right. Hey, thanks for the tip, man. Well, that was fucking nice of him. <laughs> I hope nobody got hurt, man. It looked like some pedestrian probably got hit. Of course, literally everybody out here has perfected the art of skateboarding and looking at their cell phone at the same time. So really wouldn't surprise me if someone skated right in front of a fucking car. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun in Venice Beach, and it's totally cool. But one of the main things I'm taking away from here is this whole place smells like piss and weed. All right, well, bye-bye Venice Beach. It's been weird. Venice has definitely been one of those places where I felt like we could have spent the entire seven days here and still not seen everything it has to offer. I will tell you this, though. If you're coming to Venice, you better have your hotel already picked out. We spent about an hour and a half searching for a hotel in a place where, that is not exactly friendly to, to driving or riding around in. I was kind of expecting it to be a little bit like the beaches on Florida where literally there's so many hotels you can't throw a rock without hitting one and that is not the case out here. Hotels are actually pretty few and far between. The Transformers will return after these messages. And now, Deep Thoughts by Jack Handy. Here's another thing about California that I noticed. I know everyone here talks shit about Priuses, like they hate Prius drivers. You know, it's like, oh my God, the guy cut me off. He's in a Prius. Well, of course, because we've been out here, and let me tell you, like 
every other car is a fucking Prius. All the taxi cabs are Priuses. It's like, of course Prius drivers are the worst drivers. There's more of those on the road than any other car I've fucking seen so far. It's insane. Never seen so many fucking Priuses in my life. Boom. Prius. 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 Like, dude, they're fucking everywhere. You smart. You very smart. You a genius. We now return to the Transformers. We're, we're from Florida, man. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm not the one to ask for directions around here. Going, guys, what y'all uh, getting for a motorcycle? Um, this bike here is twenty-five dollars. Even for bikes? Um, the cheapest type of party is twenty. Twenty. Okay. All right. Hey, all we're missing is a motherfucker. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? yippee ki motherfucker. All right, just got done seeing the sights on Hollywood Boulevard, doing the tourist thing, and we're going to do a quick little ride with my man Shadow Boxer here. We've been following each other on YouTube for years and years and years. I actually found this guy. Some of you guys have been doing motovlogging for a while. Remember the website, motovlogging.com. And that's where I originally found Shadow Boxer way back in the day. If you guys want to remember Shadow Boxer, you'll have to look back to the Waldocorn episode in which Shadow Boxer actually painted a legendary Waldocorn. Brother, it was fucking awesome getting to meet you, man.
All right, so we're definitely coming down the mountain now. Are you busting me? Did I just get busted? Trying for chick over here busting my balls, taking pictures of me, doing my Instagram thing. There's like no, there's nobody up here. I imagine this place is packed full of bikes and shit on the weekend. <laughs> 